Say, I shall do exploits. Shout it again. Shout it again. In the name of Jesus. Any power. Come on. Come on, come on. Do this, every one of you. Come on, shake your body. That is why we're here today. We're end time warriors. This is end time. This is shake your body. Come on. Come on, come on. Let there be good circulation in your body. Apart from spiritual one, physical one is taking place. That any one of you sick with high blood pressure, it is over today. Whatever it is, diabetes, whatever that sickness is, uh, it is over today. Any growth in your body cannot stand this fire because the fire is inside. Every growth cannot stand it. Every curse cannot stand it. Every evil pronouncement cannot stand what you carry. Begin to shake your body here. Somebody shake it in the name of Jesus. Say, any curse placed upon me, I disconnect you and I send you back to sender. Every curse placed upon me, I disconnect you right now. I send you back to sender. Is somebody there? Come on, come on, come on. Right back, Kasoka. Every curse uh, placed upon me. Uh, I cut you off. Uh, I disconnect you. I send you back, back, uh, back to sender. Back to sender. In the name of Jesus, uh, begin to send it back. Uh, begin to send it back. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I disconnect you. I break you. And I send you back. Uh, I send you back. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, say, I send you back. In the name of Jesus. I frustrate every satanic mark placed upon me. When you carry satanic, this is what, was what daddy was saying. He said, the 6666. That's a satanic mark. You see that their, their reward is hell. All they do, they are just wasting their time doing what they are doing. They are going to carry the consequence in a serious way. So that is what we are saying right now. We are going to frustrate every evil mark placed on your head. Wherever they place it, wherever it came from, evil must go back to evil. Because as children of the light, we are not allowed to carry darkness. Every evil mark, shout it, every evil mark, placed on my forehead to destroy my destiny. In the name of Jesus. I wash you out uh, with the blood of Jesus. Uh, begin to wash out that mark, uh, that evil mark uh, placed on your head, uh, on your forehead, uh, on your forehead. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I wash it out uh, with the blood of Jesus. Uh, I cast it out uh, with the blood of Jesus. Uh, every evil mark uh, placed on my forehead, uh, I cast you out. I cast you out. Uh, somebody cast out that mark. Uh, somebody wash it out uh, with the blood of Jesus. Uh, wash it out uh, with the blood of Jesus. Uh, wash it out. Uh, right back, Kasoka. Every evil mark uh, placed on me. Uh, I flush you out. Uh, I flush you out uh, with the blood of Jesus uh, and with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Uh, somebody wash it out. Uh, wash it out uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, in Jesus' name. Tell me, why is it that the devil wants to attack people's forehead? When they put a mark on you, they don't put it on your hand. They don't put it on your belly that is covered. They don't put it on your leg that you are covered. They put it on your forehead. Why? Because your forehead connects with your face. And your head is a symbol of your destiny. It's a symbol of your greatness. So if they can succeed to put it at your head, if somebody looks at you, what they see first is your face. That's why so many people are experiencing rejection. Bad luck. Bad smell. People look at you, oh, I like you. The next day they hate you. Why? Because that thing on your forehead is connected to your face. So when they look at you, they see curse. When they, they see all kinds of darkness. That is why a child of God, the first thing you do in the morning, anoint your head. Every day. Just let it be part of your life. Anoint your head every day. I will not go to the wrong place. I will not meet the wrong people. The wrong people will not meet me. Demons will not stop me today. They will not eat my blood, my flesh. They will not eat my blood. You are going to pray that prayer again. In the name of Jesus, sir. In the name of Jesus, sir. Any curse, sir. Place on my head. Uh, any curse. Uh, place on my head. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I cast you back. I cast you out. Uh, return you to sender. I cast you out. Uh, return you to sender. I cast you out. Uh, somebody return. Uh, return that curse. Uh, return that curse. Uh, place on your head. Uh, it's affecting your face. Uh, affecting your destiny. Affecting your career. Rabaka Soka. Every curse. Uh, place on my head. Uh, die by fire. Uh, 
break by fire, be disconnected by fire, be disconnected by fire, be disconnected by fire, be disconnected by fire. In the name of Jesus, shout, I disconnect you. You know, when a child is born, there's this font or something, this place that palpates like that until the child's head is, until the child is mature. A, an auntie carried a child because she carried the mandate to destroy that child's destiny. When you are born, these evil powers can see your life. They can see your destiny. They can see who you're supposed to be. Why? Because they are evil. That's why children like this will protect them. Be because anybody can do anything. So now the auntie came. That's the sister to sister, auntie of that child. Came and was pretending to wash the child's head. That's why don't let any half person touch your child's head. Now she used whatever she brought with it. Put on this child's head. This thing followed this child. child was confused, began to convulse and all. That child was disabled for five years. This is a child that was born to be very great. Not he was detected when the child was in the womb. But when that child was born, somebody afflicted the child's destiny by placing an evil on that child's head. What are we saying? When this child grew up, then thank God for such a service like this. This child was brought in a service like this. And the word was spoken. Anybody that laid evil hand on your head, that placed any curse on your head, return now to sin. Saints of God, this woman pulled what she had on her head, threw down. As that word left, it went straight to the owner. Listen, I'm talking today, tonight. Any power that have laid evil on your head, it must return back to sender. Right now, right now, in the name of Jesus, now pray that prayer. Any evil hand, any evil relative that put evil on my head, right now I return you back to sender. Back to sender. Send it back. Send it back. Send it back. Whatever was laid on your head, whatever they put on your head, come on, come on. Affecting you now. Affecting your destiny now. I return you back, back to sender. I return you back, back. Somebody return. Somebody return. Who polluted your life? Who diverted your destiny? Who diverted your destiny? You are born to be very great. You are born to be a great leader, to be a great successor. Who diverted your destiny? Somebody rise up. I return it back. I return it back. Wherever they are. Are you the saints of God? Come on, come on. They get to return. Return. They get to return. Return it back. Return it back to sender. Return it back to sender. Return it back to sender. In the name of Jesus, I return you back to sender right now. I send you back. I send you back. Any curse, any charm, every pollution on my forehead. Backfire. 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 What happened? She threw her head. Began to pull her head. She didn't even weave. So she was pulling the head. Wow, blood was. You know when demons are working on you, they have extra strengths. She began to pull hair. Sense of God, hair was being uprooted, blood. They said, What's wrong with you? Well, before you notice, she began to pull everything. Then she began to call, call the child's name. That it was one uncle that gave her what she did. It was an agreement from witchcraft. They thought she was playing. She, this woman started confessing witchcraft. Started confessing witchcraft. They locked her in her house. He said, no, this is not all I did. Even in the house they locked her in, she was still confessing. Talking how she killed the brother's first son. Talking how, you see, one person's head can bring revelation, re re resolution into a family. Can bring restoration and can reveal so many. Because of that prayer that was prayed, that woman began to confess things she has been doing right from when she was 24 years old. She started polluting people's lives. She started destroying the young ones. She killed her brother's first son that was supposed to be a doctor. Listen, today, if you come here to play, I'm telling you, you are in the wrong place. Is somebody hearing me now? If you come here to play, you are in the wrong place. 
You are going to pray that prayer again in the name of Jesus. Whosoever has placed their hand on my head to divert my destiny, wherever you are, fall and die. I have a cut. Let them release you and die. Let them release you and die. Come on, come on. They cannot live. Whosoever has placed their hand of destruction, oh yes, sir, of pollution over my head to them, I command you wherever you are. Let the wild wind of God, let the wild wind of God, oh Rabaka, wipe you off. Invite the wild wind of God, the east wind of God. Let the east wind of God wipe them down, throw them down, throw them down, throw them down. Oh, come on, come on, Rabaka. They cannot waste your life, they cannot waste your children, they cannot waste your children, they cannot waste your destiny, they cannot waste your calling. Come on, come on, wipe them out, wipe them down. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, destroy them by fire, destroy them by fire, destroy them by fire, destroy them by fire, condemn them by fire, arrest them by fire, Holy Ghost fire, crush them, crush them, let their wickedness destroy them today, let their wickedness destroy them today, somebody shout fire, say whatever has been placed on this head, return now. Back to sender. Now. Right now. Whatever the enemy has injected into this head. I send you back. I send you back. In the name of Jesus. From today, I release the fire. The fire. The fire of the Holy Ghost. I release the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, over this head, and I command my destiny, arise, 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 my destiny, arise. The Lord just told me, three of you have visited voodoo, voodoo places, and your head right now, as I'm talking to you, is being controlled in that place. If not you did that, it's a serious night of prayer, because what we are praying now, what you are praying now is not entering you. Because your head is not with you. A dark power is controlling you right now. Because you went to place your head. Because you thought that it was a place of solution. But it's a place of going around in circle. That you cannot come out of that problem. Because what you did was to bribe the, 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 the voodoo priest. And the voodoo priest went to bribe the witch that was attacking you. So now, you keep on bribing the witch doctor. Until... Yeah, that's the way they live. That's the way they made their life. You have to be going there periodically, every month, to, to give it, so that the protection will continue. But if you miss one month, you, you carry more trouble. If you know you did that, see me in my private time. Let me wash your head. Because it's serious. The Lord just told me, three of you, you've given your life through witch doctors. And that's where your problem is coming from. Today you come, we deliver you, then... Before you notice, it's back again. Because the deliverance is not deep because your head has been divided. You think you carry your head, but your real head is in the camp of the devil. So we need to do total cleansing. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Say, Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Burn, Burn until something happens. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Burn. 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 Remove Burn. every curse until something happens. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Let us quickly go to the word of God this morning. And we are going to walk on too blessed to be cursed. Part two. Okay? I'm too blessed to be cursed. Now, the Bible says in, in Acts chapter 8, verse 7 to 11. The Bible says, For the unclean spirit crying with loud voices came out of many. Why? Because God's servant was in the house. Why? Because God's servant was releasing the word and they accepted the word. If you don't accept the word, there must be something you have accepted. And it's what you have accepted that controls what you are. That is why the Bible says, as many as believed him, to them he did what? Gave power to become the sons of God. 
So when you believe and you act like you believe, not that you believe and today you are waving, today you are waving, tomorrow you, you are like this, today you are like this. When good comes, you are for good. When bad comes, you are in between, doing what you are not supposed to do. That is not the life of a child of God. A child of God, when you believe, you are focused. Now, the Bible says all in unclean spirits, crying out with loud voice, came out of many that were, up, that were possessed by them. And many taken with palsies that, and, and were lame were healed. So the power of healing came down. The anointing, the resurrection power came down and did its work. Why? Because it, it connected with pure hearts. Hearts that were ready to be released. Hearts that were ready to be set free. Hearts that know that this is the time. No more postponement. I must be set free. And there was, and there was great joy in the city. Because if you are healed and you are restored, you become joyful because whatever was that load has been taken away. But there was a certain man called Simon, which for time in the same city used sorcery and bewitched the people of Samaria, giving out that himself was a great one. So many people were bewitched by this man. So you see that people that were supposed to complete their second degree, they could not even complete the first one. Because why? He will come to him. Why do they bewitch you? Because so you can come for solution. That's how the, the witch doctors do their work. That's why the, the powers, that's how the powers of this world solve their problem. They will do it temporary, so you come back to them. And you keep on coming because that's the way they live their life. That's how they, that's how they can prosper and that's how they eat and have shelter. Any power using your money uh, negatively, any power using your money negatively to curse you so that you come back to them. Uh, I disconnect that power. Somebody rise up. Uh, any satanic power using my money to curse my life, uh, to keep me in one spot. Uh, I disconnect you. I curse you by fire. I disconnect you by thunder, by brimstone satanic power that is using your money to keep you in one spot. They use your money to make you go around in circle. They use your money to make you stagnant. I disconnect you by fire, by thunder, by fire, by thunder. Somebody begin to disconnect. Somebody begin to disconnect. In the name of Jesus, I disconnect you. Rabaka Seke, by fire, by thunder, by fire, by thunder. Shout, I disconnect from you. Now, Maybe you didn't even know. You gave them money. And they used your money to go and consult. Because maybe they didn't have enough money. Or maybe they think that is the only way that can protect you. Or make you live better. But you didn't even know that they used your money in such a thing. It can still affect you. It is your money. That's what is happening to so many people in America today. Because the money they gave to people to do business, they gave to them to take care of themselves, take care of their shelter, take care of their children. They use the money to wish doctor because that's where they believe that power can come from, solution can come from. So if your money that left your hand, because you touched that money, whether you give it through Western Union, you know, money is currency. Uh -huh. Where money moves from, and to money moves. Money is, you, you could surprise, money you release today may be at the end of somewhere in, in, in where, uh, India. But that money touched your hand. So when you release, when that money is released from you and they use it to do something evil, it will affect you. That's why at times your hands are itching. At times you feel your hand is itching. You don't know why. It's some satanic trade by butter going on with your money. Somebody rise up. Say in the name of Jesus. Do your right hand like this. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any satanic power using my money to punish me. Your time is up. Your time is up. Release my money. Release my money. By fire, by thunder. Somebody up your matter. Command them to release your money. They use your money to punish you. They use your money to dry your business. To dry your job. To bring rejection. To make you suffer. They use your money to make you suffer. Holy Ghost. Arrest them by fire. Satanic powers. Using my money to attack my destiny. Using my money to 
frustrate my life. Uh, I disconnect from you. Uh, I disconnect from you. By fire, by thunder, I crush you. I crush you. By fire, by thunder, Holy Ghost fire. Say, pursue them. Uh, pursue them, oh God. Uh, wherever they are using my money against my life, uh, Holy Ghost pursue them. Uh, somebody open your mouth. Uh, let them be pursued uh, to their grave. Uh, Rabakata, uh, release me by fire. Release my money. Holy Ghost, uh, pursue them uh, to their grave. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, release my money. Release my money. Release my money. Release my money in Jesus' name. Okay. Now the Bible says that Simon has bewitched so many. And he told them like that he's such a great man. He's, he's like God. He, people should honor him. Because they didn't know about God at that time. They didn't believe they have heard, but they didn't believe that God can set them free. So what did they do? They, they, they honored this man. They respected him. The Bible says in 10, to whom they, they all gave heed from the least to the greatest, saying, this man is the great power of God. Yes, that's how, even in America here, yeah, they do it. They do it so much. Even in this place, I've seen so many. That will come that they will even say I should lay hand on them because this, 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 this and they will determine as they were what what are they doing? What, oh, um, I was this in Africa, I was this, uh, but this land is too strong, this land is too uh, difficult. Uh, I wanted to start something, but it's not working for me. Blah 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 blah. I say, You used to, you are like you do this thing, I call the name native doctor or something, something. I want to say false prophet, but it's better for me to say native doctor because if you are a false prophet, you are a native doctor. Oh, not me. I, I pray for people. I give them water. I put, pour water on their head. That is false prophet. So I brought that out of them. So I told them, be careful because there are people praying against you. For somebody like you, you have to be careful. This place may not be good for you. He said, oh, so many people come to me. You want something to blow your mind, right? He said, even from your church. He said, you want me to call their name? I said, call. Comments of people that are in this church that are visiting false prophets. I said, so what did you give them? He said, when I see them, I know they are from your church. I said, why? He said, because they carry something. He said, your church is so hot. He said, I wish they know what they carry. This is the false prophet telling me this face to face. I wish to I wish they know what they carry. I wish they know what they have. He said, they come. Say, when you they preach, when you are preaching, they don't even, you know, they, 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 they just want quick, 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 quick things. But they don't know that if they only believe what you are saying, they will be saved. They call names. The man called names to me. I know their names. So don't be worried. We are, we are in the hospital. I know your name already. So what am I saying? This man deceived people in the land and made them to, to feel that he is God. And they came to him. And the more they come to him, the more curses they become. Why? The more cursed they are. Why? Because you, if you go to the wrong place, you don't have Jesus in you. And that person curses your life by coming and going. It's a curse. Living a life of circle. You cannot live on your own unless you go to them. And they can regulate you to come to them so that you begin to give them, take care of their life. And so that they know what is going on in you. But the Bible says, and to him, they had regards because that as of long time he had bewitched. Did you see that? He had bewitched them with sorcery. He bewitched them with sorcery. He cast them with sorcery. So these people are li were living a cursed life until Philip went there. So that is where we are now. God has brought you here today to be set free from any curse. Maybe you don't know about it. Maybe somebody took your name somewhere. Somebody took your name to the camp, took your name to witchcraft, and they say you never succeed in business. You never succeed in job. You will not get a good job. Your marriage will not work. Huh? You, your marriage will not work. Everything you touch that is the be everything you touch goes negative so that you can come to him say oh baba can you help me today because my business is not working 
My children are not married yet. We have to be careful. When your children are not married, that is not a right place to go. The man told me. He said, especially when they look for husbands for their children. I say, wow. So you can marry the wrong person because of satanic manipulation. God help us. In the name of Jesus, any satanic manipulation going on in my life, I expose you. I expose you. Be destroyed by fire. Be destroyed by fire. Somebody open your mouth. Anybody manipulating you, manipulating you to do the wrong thing. Every satanic manipulation. Oh, come on. For me to do the wrong thing, for me to act wrongly, I disconnect you by fire. Be exposed. Be exposed. Exposed and be disconnected. Come on, come on, open your mouth. Rabaka Toto, satanic manipulation. They go to their voodoo camp. They manipulate your mind. They manipulate your heart. They manipulate your destiny. Rabaka So, I cast you out by fire. I destroy you by fire. I destroy you by fire. Satanic manipulation. In the name of Jesus, be disconnected. Rabaka Toto, Robo Satata. Oh, yes, sir. I disconnect. Connect you. Father, expose. Expose manipulation. Open your mouth. My father, my father. Expose all kinds of manipulation taking place in my life. Father, let them be exposed. All kinds of manipulation. Satanic manipulation. Witchcraft manipulation. False prophet manipulation. My father, expose. Somebody open your mouth. Ask God to expose. Manipulation. Who took your picture? Who took your picture? And they are manipulating you. Who took your picture? The false prophet's house uh, to demonic houses. Uh, now they are manipulating your business, uh, manipulating your job. Uh, come on, come on. Uh, I cast you out by fire. Be exposed, uh, my father. Ha ha ha. Expose uh, any satanic manipulation uh, working against my life. Uh, be exposed by fire. Be destroyed by fire. In the name of Jesus. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, shout fire. Whosoever is taking my name to the wrong place, my father, expose them and dry them up. Dry them up. Dry them up. Open your mouth. Who is taking your name? Who is taking your name to the wrong place? Who take the name of your children to the wrong place? Somebody open your mouth. Somebody cry out. They take your name to the water. They take your name to the roof. To the covenant, they take your name. Come on to witchcraft covenant. They take your business. They take your job to the covenant. My father, expose, destroy, expose whosoever taking my name, taking my name to the covenant, taking my name to the water to destroy me, to curse me. Father, curse them, destroy them. Open my eye. Somebody cry out, cry out. Who is taking your picture from? place to place uh, and they are cursing you. They take your picture uh, from one place to the other uh, and they are cursing, uh, cursing your marriage, uh, cursing your destiny, cursing you as a single. Uh, Rabakata, release me by fire. Somebody pray, pray, pray. Uh, release me by fire. Uh, Rabakata, release my destiny, release my calling. Uh, Rabakata, somebody open your mouth, uh, begin to pray. Uh, somebody's cursing you. Uh, somebody's fighting you. Uh, somebody's out here uh, against your life. Fire for fire, fire for fire, fire for fire, fire for fire, fire for fire. My father, expose them, destroy them, expose them. Whether it's your stepmother, it could be your stepmother, or Rabakata, whosoever, whether your stepmother, whether your ex, whoever, whether you're in, taking your picture in order to waste you. My father, open somebody cry out, somebody cry out. Father, that destroy them. Father, expose them. Destroy them by fire. Whosoever is taking my picture from place to place in order to hinder me. In order to hinder me. Who is taking your picture? Is it that stepmother? Is it that 
neighbor? Is it that neighbor close to your house? Oh, come on. Is it that ex-boyfriend? Is it the ex-girlfriend? Thank you your name. So to, so to frustrate you. So to frustrate you. Somebody call on God. Come on, come on. Who is taking your business? Taking your job to that place in order to curse you. Let God arise. Let the enemies be scattered. Father, scatter them. Father, scatter them. Father, destroy them. Destroy them. Shout fire. An ex-boyfriend, not even husband, told the girl, you see, you will never get married. Forwarded the picture to the girl. No name that when they were boyfriend, you know when something is sweet to you, you don't know how you give your whole life. <laughs> that kind of love now. Uh, love at word for. She gave picture to the boy. This boy now used the picture to the father's shrine. Began to curse this girl that nobody will ever marry her. This girl didn't know. She didn't know that she was under a curse. That somebody is presenting her to a shrine every day. When prayer was being said, she said, I see a shrine. I see your picture. And I see the man. Four years ago, you separated from the man. And the man was angry. The man is still using it. He thought it was a lie. It was a joke. Thought it was a joke. Until we pray that God let this man be uncomfortable. So he can release it. And release this girl. Call the girl. Say, listen. Yes. I think you have suffered a little bit. The girl said, what do you mean by suffer a little bit? Forgot what she was even told. The girl said, what do you mean by suffer a little bit? <laughs> you see, I have your picture. I still have your picture. Are you dreaming about it? Say, dreaming about what? Say, I have your picture. I can forward it to you. you remember when you gave me a picture of eight, eight years ago? You have been lying. Four plus four. Eight years ago. And now, did you remember the picture? The girl said, no. Please forward it. Forward the picture when the job started. When the girl was langa langa, we could do. You know, when that sugar comes, everything turns upside down. He said, This is it. And I tell you face to face, you will never get married. So the picture was forwarded to me, and I said, Okay, that thank you. This was what I was looking for. We started praying. We started praying. The man, only the man called back, said, I release you. I've been dreaming bad dream. It has not been working for me. I release you. Maybe that's why me too, I'm not, I'm not married. Go, make her go my own. Today they must release you. Is somebody hearing me? Anybody using my picture on a shrine to frustrate my destiny, your time is up. Release me by fire. Release me by fire. Somebody pray. They use your picture on a shrine to frustrate your marriage, to frustrate your job, to frustrate your children, to frustrate your destiny. Who is it that went to a shrine? Who is on a shrine? Oh, come on, come on. I say you never, you never get your green card. You never get your citizenship. You never settle. You never get children. Oh, come on. They say you never get children. Children, uh, your project will not work. Uh, your business will not work. Uh, who is it uh, that is cursing, uh, speaking against you? Today is your day. Arabaka, uh, release me by fire. Release me, oh God. Oh God, uh, force my enemies. Uh, force my friendly friends. Uh, to release me by fire. Come on, come on. Uh, my family, my family, my family. Uh, oh God, force them. Uh, to release my destiny. To release my destiny. My destiny must be released. Uh, my destiny must be released. Uh, from the shrine. Oh yes sir. Whosoever is controlling my destiny on the shrine. Today by fire. By thunder by brimstone. I command you. Release me by fire. Release my children. Release my destiny. Release my business. Release my business. Release my certificate. Release my license. Release my license. Release my health. Who is taking your picture to the water. And they say you don't have children. They say you don't have children. You know Never settle in marriage. Holy Ghost fire. Torment them by fire. Torment them by fire. Arabakata. Rabokosa. Open your mouth. Pray that prayer. They must release you by fire, by thunder. By fire, by thunder. Release me by fire. Release me by fire. Release my destiny. Release my destiny. Release my calling. Oh, come on, come on. Come on, somebody pray. The fire is on. Somebody pray. Who took you to the shrine? Who took you to the 
this shrine? Who took you to this shrine? Who took your money? Who took your picture to this shrine? And they're frustrating you. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, arrest them by fire. Arrest them by fire. Domain them by fire. Arabakata, Robosata, Robosata, Robosata. Release me by fire. Release me by fire. Release my children. Release my job. Release me. Release me. What are in the water? In the land, uh, in the grave, uh, release me by fire, release my children, uh, release my purpose, uh, release my calling. Uh, somebody command them, command them, command them to release you. Whosoever is taking my picture, oh, come up from shrine to shrine, uh, and they are cursing me. Fall down and curse yourself, uh, fall down and destroy yourself, uh, destroy yourself this morning. Uh, or Rabakata, in the name of Jesus, uh, fire for fire, Holy Ghost arrest them uh, by fire, 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 Holy Ghost arrest them uh, by fire, Holy Ghost arrest them uh, by fire, hey, Holy Ghost, uh, Rabakatura, let fire fall, let fire and hailstone, hailstone, Rabakatura. With fire, hailstone with fire. Come on, come on. Let it torment them. Torment them by fire. Whosoever is taking your picture to the shrine, controlling your life, controlling your destiny, controlling your finances, your job and your career. Oh, Rabada. Fire, fire, fire. My father bought them. My father arrest them. Arrest them. My fire by thunder. Oh, is somebody here? Come on, come on. Let fire. Let fire arrest them. Let fire arrest them. Let fire arrest them. Let fire arrest them. Let them go. Let them go. Let them go. Let them go. Oh, that's the fire. That's the fire. That's the fire. Come on, come on. That's the fire. It's moving. That fire is on. I said the fire is on. The fire is on. They cannot stand on that shrine. They cannot stand on that shrine anymore. The fire is on. Oh, Rabaka. Somebody pray. Oh, Rabaka. Oh, Rabaka. Oh, Rabaka. My father, my father, burn them to ashes, burn them to ashes, burn them to ashes, burn them to ashes, in the name of Jesus, burn them to ashes, come on, call them fire, let the fire burn them, wherever they are, in front of that shrine, let them be burnt to ashes, be burnt to ashes, be burnt, father, release fire, release fire, and hailstone. From heaven, torment them, burn them to ashes, burn them to ashes, burn them to ashes, burn them to ashes. What about altars? If they can use shrine to control, they can use altars. Altars is even easy. It's the one that is so reachable. We are going to pray. Who is presenting your picture to an altar? That is it. The altar in the water. The water in the water is very big. And that is where people prosperity. The Bible, the, the, we, we are told that the altar in the water is very rich. And that's where they connect people's riches. If you are under financial attack, your business is under attack. Your business, your job, anything you do that brings money is connected in the water. So today we are going deep. I don't know whether you are ready for today. You are going deep because... So many people's license have been taken. See, good nurses working all of a sudden. They say, oh, something happened. They begin to investigate. And after a while, they take their license. Most of that is not physical. It's spiritual. We are going to go today. Say in the name of Jesus. Whosoever is using my picture in an altar to frustrate my life. Your time is up. Release me and die by fire. Release me, release me. Somebody pray. Who is controlling your picture? Oh yeah, your destiny with your picture in an altar. They take your picture in that altar. Oh Rabaka. Altar in the water. Altar in the grave. Altar in the covenant. Come on, come on. Who is that mommy water? That marine spirit. That marine spirit. That Jezebel spirit. That strong man. The strong man. Ah, kapa! <laughs>
Ah, somebody lift up your voice. Oh, come on, come on. That strong man, taking your picture from place to place, controlling your destiny, controlling your marriage, controlling your marriage, controlling your children. My father, my father, release your fire. Rabakata, arrest them today. Come on. Oh, Rabakata, Rebokosa, arrest them wherever they are, controlling my life, my children's life, my destiny on an altar, my business, my my job, my career, my calling in an altar. My father, my father, my father, my father. Somebody cry to God. Somebody cry to God. Rabakata, Rabakasa, Rokosakata, Rabakata. Fire for fire. Release my picture. Release my destiny. In the name of Jesus, I command you. You cannot control my destiny in an altar. You cannot control my destiny in an altar. Altar, die by fire, die by thunder. Release me, oh release me, oh release me. In the name of Jesus, release me by fire, release me by fire. Shout fire, yeah, yeah. Shout it again. Say whosoever in my father's house, controlling an altar against my life, fall and die by fire. In the name of Jesus, whosoever. In my mother's house, controlling an altar against my life. Your time is up. Fall and die by fire. Die, 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 die. In the name of Jesus. Any in-law or ex-law. Any in-law or ex-law. Controlling my life. Controlling my destiny. Controlling my destiny. In an altar. In a shrine. Your time is up. Summer sword. Die by fire. Kaba, 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 kaba. Somebody up here, man. That ex-husband, though he's dead, the spirit is still controlling. Somebody rise up. That ex-woman, Orabakata, command them. Die and let me go. Die and let me go. By fire, by thunder. By fire, by thunder. Controlling my life in an altar, in a shrine. Orabaka, I cast you out. In the name of Jesus, you must let me go. You must let me go by fire by thunder by fire by thunder let me go shout let me go one more time shout it one more time shout it and according to what we learned that who is it that will cause who God has blessed is that person is that person going to live no that person cannot live why because you are a blessing are you hearing me he said, but Peter said, you see, when blessings are coming, the enemy will look for distraction. So many people are cursed today because they were distracted. Distracted in the wrong way. Like Peter was given money by Simon. He said, but Peter said unto him, thy money perish with thee. Because thou hast that thought that your gift, the gift of God may be purchased with money. That's how people do it. So many people have tried to do it. Pollute the gift of God. Because they wanted money. Pollute the gift of God because they want something good. But this is what the wish doctors, false prophet can do in order to waste your life. In order to frustrate you. If you have been dreaming, you are dreaming. Every time you are dreaming, a man comes. A man shows up. And when he shows up, he wants to do something in you. You are, you are struggling with this spirit that must perish in the name of Jesus. It's a wicked spirit. It's a wicked spirit. It's somebody. Say, in the name of Jesus. Any satanic monitor, any satanic monitor trying to disconnect me from my blessing, every satanic monitor trying to distract me from my blessing, your time is up. I cut you down. I cut you to pieces. Come on, cut that person. Destroy them. Destroy them. They want to distract you. They want to distract you. They want to confuse you. They want to. Because they know that God has a blessing. God has something for you. Rabakatoto. Destroy them by fire. Destroy them by fire. Destroy them by fire. Destroy them by fire. In the name of Jesus. Be destroyed by fire. Be destroyed by thunder. In the name of Jesus. Shout, I destroy you. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 20. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 20. Listen, take this prayer very serious because some of you, this is where we are right now. 
curse. This is where we are. Altars have cursed. Shrine has cursed. Human beings have cursed. Household wickedness has cursed. Somebody that you disappointed has cursed. Or somebody that disappointed you has cursed. Somebody that don't want you to prosper has cursed. So the curse is coming from everywhere. But as a child of God, that curse will not be your portion. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 20 said, Curse not the king. Say, I'm a child of the king. It's a command. Curse not the king. No, no, not in thy thought. And curse not the rich in thy chamber. For the bed of the earth shall carry. <laughs> this one is good. Gadula. That's the Holy Spirit. He shall carry the message, the voice. And that which had wings shall tell the matter. God is telling the matter now. God is telling the matter that some of us have been caused, but today they don't have right. They do not have Whatever they've done to curse me, I scatter them. I frustrate them. I pull them down. In the name of Jesus, any power that I've gathered to curse me, I'm a child of the king. I cannot be cursed. I carry blessing on my head. So wherever they've cursed, I return back their curses. Back to them. Back to them. In the name of Jesus. Shout fire. fire. Now we are going to the book of Psalm 109. Psalm 109 verse 28. Psalm 109 verse 28 says. It says. Let them curse. But bless thou. So let them waste their time be cursing. But God do your blessing. When they arise. Let them be ashamed. Because some of them will sleep in order to wake up. Not to, they, they plan they, they will not see you. Or they wake up, they will see that you are frustrated. They wake up, see that you have lost your job. They wake up to see that you are in the street, confused. They will say, let them be ashamed. But let thy servant rejoice in the name of Jesus. Shout, I shall rejoice. Shout it again. Say any curse placed against me. I return it back to sender. Let it go back and shame sender and destroy sender. Any curse placed upon me, I return it back to go and bring shame to sender in the name of Jesus. Say from today, my life, my destiny is a spiritual showcase. I refuse to be cursed. Any power Causing my life daily. Carry your cause. So you see that from January to this time, almost at the end of April, daily there are powers that get up and begin to curse. There are some wicked personalities. This is real. They get up every morning, the first thing before they say good morning to anybody. If you greet them, they don't answer you. Until they go and place the curse. When you greet them, they don't answer you until they place the curse. Is the first thing they do every day because it's a covenant they make. That until you are down, they will not keep quiet. So every day they wake up. What do they do? They carry your name. They carry your cloth. They carry your singlet. They carry your underwear. And they go behind somewhere. Maybe under a plantain tree. Or under a tree, an evil tree. Or they go behind an old house. Or a grave, you know. In, in those days, and even till now, they still bury people in houses. So they go to the grave in that house and they begin to curse daily. That as this dead man is gone, that's how their job will be gone. That's how their businesses will be gone. That's how their marriages will scatter today by fire. Any evil personality causing my life daily. Any evil personality causing my life daily. Wherever you are, 
fall and die by fire. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Hush yourself, hush yourself. In the name of Jesus, every evil personality causing my life under a tree. Under a tree. Remember the tree in your father's house. Remember the tree in your compound. Somebody's going there to curse you. Remember the tree in your father's compound, in your mother's compound. Somebody's going there to curse you daily. Any evil personality releasing curses. Over my life daily, on a tree, on a tree, on banana tree, on plantain tree, on coconut tree. Your time is up. Fall and die by fire. Come on, come on, somebody pray. Who is causing? Who is causing your life? They must let you go. Who is causing your life? Baka, pa, pa, pa. Your time is up. Evil personality. Cursing my children, cursing my children on a tree, oh Rabagadaba, cursing my tree behind an old house, behind an old house, they are cursing you behind that old house, behind that graveyard, in front of that grave, the grave in your father's house, that grave, they go and they curse you on that grave, oh Rabagadaba, the grave in your compound, my father, my father. Arise, Araba, destroy them by fire, destroy them by fire. Oh, yes, sir. Let them die in their wickedness. Come on, them. They must die like that grave. Oh, yes, sir. Evil personality going around, causing my life daily, daily on a tree, daily on a tree. I frustrate you, I destroy you. In the name of Jesus, I crush you, I crush you. In the name of Jesus, shout fire. Say, I must rejoice. I must rejoice. I'm a child of the king. I am a child of the king. In the name of Jesus. Say, I am blessed. Say it again. One more time. One more time. One more time. Say any evil pronouncement. Place against me. You know, we're talking about curses. Curses can come through a spiritual leader. It could be negative spiritual leader, spiritualist, like as we talk about all this witch doctor and all. They can curse you because your father did not pay something or you did not pay what you promised. You were supposed to be going every month. You didn't go. They can curse you. They can curse you. Or if you place a curse or if you, you say something against a spiritual a, a leader, a general, they can place a curse on you. Can you, re, can you put uh, Joshua chapter 6 verse 26? Let's see. Joshua 6 26. You see, they can place a curse on you. Pronouncement. Yes. Joshua 6. And Joshua adjured them at this, that time saying, Curse be the man before the Lord that raised up this building. That raised up and built this city. This is Jericho. You see how a leader can walk in authority if you offend a leader. This is real. Because a real leader is being controlled by God. Whatever they say comes to pass. Joshua went and said it. He said, listen, nobody can raise it. Whosoever raises this, this wall of Jericho, he shall lay it on the foundation thereof of his firstborn. Did you see that? Do you see why so many firstborn are under attack? See how so many firstborn? No matter how they try, they are stagnant. No matter how they try, they are very smart, but tired. Very intelligent, but tired. But you see that even the second one can come and overtake the first. It, it is not the first's fault. It is a curse in the foundation. Look at that. It shall be on the foundation of the firstborn. And in his youngest son shall he set up the gates of it. So which means from the foundation, when you start it, your firstborn must have some problem. Before you notice, you lose him. You lose his destiny. Maybe he dies or he, everything upside down. Then, number two, two, by the time you are finishing the gate, say, okay, it is it's a covenant. As you are finishing the gate, the youngest one. You see how some people, they lose people in the family and they don't know why they lose them. Did you see that curse? So, it, they can, it, can, it could be a curse in your foundation. That somebody has done something wrong. 
And the person failed to repent, failed to agree that he did it, failed to... Did I not tell you a story about a mother that went to dig cassava? Went to steal cassava. On an, a farm, stole the cassava. The owner came and said, your children. And I don't know why they're after children. He sees the destiny. They don't curse the person. Who, they saw the person. Instead of cursing the person that did it, they cursed the child. None of your children will get married. They will suffer. They will suffer and suffer all their life and die without. That was a curse. And the worst part of it is that it seems these people they don't even get, have sense. That, listen, a curse has been placed on my children. Let me work hard to break that curse. They will leave it. Tell me. All the girls, four girls, no one. Beautiful. Doctors. Great nurses. Leaders. No one. The one that tried almost died. Almost paralyzed. She was paralyzed one side. What type of life is that? So nobody dared. Dare go to marry anymore. Until one of them broke it. Said something must be wrong. Why are all of us at home? I see everybody, they get married they get, and they live right. Why? The only one that tried to get married was paralyzed. Came for prayer. Sister of God, that was where it was released. That mama thief cassava. <laughs> mama may be looking for food for the children, but she would have accepted and begged or paid something. Mama stole cassava and she was cursed. That was it. How will you feel? That your mother that you love so much brought curse into your life. Let us stand up. Makasokuto. In the name of Jesus. Any parental curses walking against my life. Your time is up. Break, 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 break. Come on. Somebody break that curse. Parental curses. Oh yes, sir. Break that curse. Come on now. Break it. That leader. Oh yes, sir. Oh my God. Whatever was said over what your parents did. Today I break it. I break it by fire. Every curse. Parental curse. Working against my life. Every parental curse. Working against my destiny. Today I flush it with the blood of Jesus. Please be serious with this prayer. Be very serious. Because somebody must have done something. And now you are under. Come on, open your mouth. I break it by fire. I cancel by fire. Every parent I curse. Oh, yes, sir. Walking against me. Walking against my destiny. I flush you. Come on, come on. I uproot you. I uproot you. I uproot you. From your root. From your root. From your root. Somebody open your mouth. I uproot you. I place that curse. Back to sender. Back to sender. I send it back. I send it back. Back to sender. In the name of Jesus. I am free. I'm a child of God. I am a child. Come on, come on. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Father, set me free from parental curses. Set me free from the evil of my parents. Whatever my parents did. Whatever my parents did. There are broadcasts over my life. Oh, yes, sir. My father flush me. Oh, yes, sir. Flush me by fire. Whatever my ancestors. My ancestors did. There are broad curses over my life. I flush it out. Somebody, come on, come on. Begin to dip yourself in the blood of Jesus. Dip yourself. Dip yourself. Dip your destiny in the blood of Jesus. I flush my life. I flush my destiny in the blood of Jesus. I flush my destiny from the day I was born till now. I flush my destiny from the day I was born till now. With the blood blood of Jesus. Uh, with the blood of Jesus. Uh, somebody flush your destiny. Come on, come on. Uh, from the day you were born uh, till now. Uh, Father, I flush uh, my destiny from the day I was born uh, till now. Uh, from every curse. Uh, from every curse. Uh, from every curse. Uh, from every curse uh, placed on my life. Uh, I flush it. Uh, I flush it. Uh, by fire, by thunder. By fire, by thunder. I flush it today. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Rabakatata. Uh, Oh yes, sir. By fire, by thunder. By fire, by thunder. By fire, by thunder. Shout, I flush it. Some children are struggling. Maybe your father, your mother was still at home or somebody. Your mother was not there. A woman was there. Your father was polygamy. 
Is it polygamous, uh, polygamous man? Okay, now, the other woman, he liked the other woman. But he didn't marry that woman. No. But the woman was attractive. So in the night, he crawled there. <laughs> they know how to crawl. They are shot in the night. But in the morning, they, they crawl there. And she me he messes up with that woman. Then this other woman gets to know. The woman says, eh. So I'm the slave in this house. I'm the one walking. You, are, you know they take care of the one outside more than the one inside. And you are the one. You will see all your children. You will see how good they will be. You will see. Especially if your father did not actually marry your mother before you were born. It's a serious thing. If your father did not actually marry your mother, maybe it's when they were married, then they said, okay, let us just do something. But the foundation was not clear before the marriage. You have something in your hand. We are going to pray today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any case that another woman placed on my head because of the mistake of my father I cast it out. I break, break, cast it out. I break, break, come on now. Break that prayer. Somebody pray, pray. Any cause that any woman place on my head as a result of the mistake of my father, as a result of the mistake of my mother, I cast out that curse. I break that curse. I break that curse. Somebody break it. It can follow you. You can be living a life of vegetable. Uh, nothing is working. Uh, because somebody, somebody made a mistake uh, and they put it on your head. Uh, soka, I cast it out uh, by fire. I cut off. Uh, I cut off that curse. Uh, I break that curse. Uh, I break it uh, by fire, by thunder. By fire, by thunder. I break today. Whosoever has placed a curse uh, because of the mistake uh, of my mother, of my father, I disconnect by fire. Somebody disconnect. Uh, fire Fire, fire, ura gada, ura gada, ura bashiki. Come on, disconnect, disconnect from that power, disconnect from that curse. Break yourself out. You can take yourself out. You can take yourself out. You can separate yourself today. You can separate yourself today. You can walk out of that curse. You can walk out of that curse. Arabakata, you are innocent. You don't know about it. You are innocent. You are not part of the agreement. My father, my father, disconnect me from any curse uh, walking against me that another woman uh, or another man uh, place on my head uh, that another woman uh, or another man uh, place on my head uh, I break it right now I disconnect it right now in the name of Jesus uh, my father set me free uh, my father set me free uh, my father set me free in the name of Jesus shout set me free you see now maybe you have one day talked something about a leader you have spoken anything bad about a leader. Just let God forgive you today. Especially if the person is a real leader. If he's a fake leader, well, the blood of Jesus has taken that. But if he's a real leader of God, and he spoke something against, it's the blood that will still fight you. So we are going to call on God right now. My father, my father, in any way, I have placed a curse on my life by speaking evil about a man of God. Or a woman of God. Father, forgive me. Forgive me by fire. Forgive me by fire. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Oh, come on, come on. Every word has spoken concerning a woman of God or a man of God. Oh, yes, negatively. Father, wash it. Forgive me with your blood. Use your blood to forgive me. Use your blood to forgive me. Come on, call on the blood of Jesus. Call on the blood. Oh, come on, come on. Call on the blood of Jesus to wash it out of you. To wash it out of you. In the name of Jesus, uh, I disconnect. Uh, father, forgive me. My father, forgive me. My father, forgive me. Any pronouncement uh, by a spiritual leader, any pronouncement uh, by a spiritual leader over my life, uh, any evil pronouncement, uh, every evil pronouncement uh, by a spiritual leader over my life, uh, my father, wash it out. Wash it out uh, with your blood, with your fire. With your anointing, uh, with your power, with your power, with your power.
power, with your power, in the name of Jesus, uh, set me free, oh God. Set me free, oh God, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name. Maybe you inherited the, the problem from your parents. You inherited curse. Maybe your mother was cursed. Okay? Now, your mother was cursed. You are born in that family. You are now the same curse. Have you not seen some family? Mother died of breast cancer. The senior daughter died of breast cancer. The, the one following died of breast cancer. The fourth one said, not me. Until you say, not me. Until you say, not me, the same. You see yourself in your parents' life. The same curse they go through. You see yourself falling into it straight. Why? Because it is inherited. Inherited parental curses. Today it must backfire. No, you are not hearing me. In the name of Jesus. Look at, look at Gehazi. Let us see. Gehazi did not curse his children. But it's inherited. It's what he did. Inherit. Look at 2 Kings chapter 5, 27. 2 Kings chapter 5, verse 27. It says, The leprosy, therefore, of Naaman shall cleave unto thee. Why? Because Naaman went to take bribe. What he was not supposed to. Told a lie to the man of God. That's like stealing and being manipulated. Okay. And unto thy seed forever. Did you see that? The leprosy of Naaman, that Naaman that came, and I told him to jump into the river Jordan seven times, that he, he struggled, finally he did. That same leprosy, the way it came, it shall cleave unto you. And now, not only you, your children, your children, children, can you imagine such? The whole family lineage shall suffer of leprosy. Forever. He didn't even say for six months. For six years, for ten years, but forever. And he went out from his presence. Immediately he said it, leprosy took over. But there are some people who know their God that will be disconnected from this leprosy. Do I have a believer here? Somebody stand up. In the name of Jesus, sir, every inherited problem, any inherited problem from my friends, from my parents, from my father, from my mother, that I brought a curse over my life. I disconnect now by fire. I disconnect that problem. Come on, come on. Whatever that problem is, somebody disconnect. I cut it off by fire. I cut it off by fire. In the name of Jesus, every inherited problem from my father, from my mother, that I've glued to my life, that I've taken over my life, I purge it out. Come on, come on, come on, disconnect. Some of us is poverty. Some of us poverty. Some of us bad luck. After all, our parents, our parents did not do big, great business. Now you want to do great business. The same poverty, the same lack, the same confusion that your parents suffered. You see yourself suffering it. Somebody disconnect from parental struggle. I disconnect from parental struggle. Parental struggle. Come on, come on. Parental struggle. I disconnect connect myself uh, in the name of Jesus uh, from parental sickness. Uh, come on, come on. Uh, inherited sickness. Uh, disconnect yourself. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, I disconnect myself uh, from inherited sickness. Uh, inherited sickness. Uh, affliction. Uh, inherited affliction. Uh, I disconnect by fire. Come on, come on. Uh, evil pattern. Uh, evil pattern. Uh, from my lineage, uh, I disconnect. Uh, somebody disconnect. Uh, the same sickness. Uh, your father is struggling. Uh, now you are having it. Uh, you have high blood pressure. Look at your father. Your father had high blood pressure. Now you are having high blood pressure. Somebody flush it out. Uh, flush it out by fire. Oh, Rabakata. Begin to disconnect uh, from parental curses. Uh, oh, yes, sir. Uh, your father always have headache. Uh, your mother always have headache. Uh, now you are having headache. Uh, oh, come on. Uh, you say arthritis. Uh, your father's leg uh, was always painful. Now your legs are painful. Uh, Arthritis. Uh, somebody disconnect uh, from parental, uh, parental sickness, uh, parental disease. Uh, Arabakata. I disconnect by fire. I disconnect by fire. Every parental, uh, parental curses, uh, parental affliction.
connection. I disconnect in the name of Jesus. We get a disconnect. Come on, come on. Your parents could not start a business. Now your business is struggling. They cannot have certificate. Now you are struggling to have it. Come on, come on. You have it. Struggle, struggle, struggle. Struggle has never ended. You walk from paycheck to paycheck. You don't know where the money is going to. That was what your parents. There's a curse in the family. There's a basket in the family. Somebody wash out. Wash out the cause of poverty. The cause of poverty. Come on, come on, come on. Inherited poverty. Inherited poverty. I cast you out. I flush you out. Inherited poverty. Come on, come on. Somebody wash it out. Inherited sickness. I cast you out. I cast you out. I cast you out. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say, I wash you out. With the blood of Jesus. What about the curse that comes out of disobedience? Proverbs 3.33. Some of us walk in disobedience and we think we are doing human beings. There's always curse with disobedience. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 33. Thank you. The curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked. But he blessed the habitation of the just. The habitation of the just is always blessed. But the habitation of the wicked... Because the wicked is always stubborn, very disobedient. So he said the curse is always there. But for those that are very peaceful, those that want the work to go well, they are obedient. No matter what, they said they shall be blessed in Jesus' name. Then talk about cause of neglecting spiritual obligation. People o- o- re- neglect spiritual obligation because they think that, oh, it's some special people that should do it. Some special people should not. Let us go to the book of Jeremiah 48. Verse 10. Jeremiah 48, verse 10. It says, Cursed be he that doeth the work of the Lord deceitfully. When I search out this, I say, Father. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. The Holy Spirit said, I wanted you to see this. Cursed be he that doeth the work of God deceitfully. And cursed be he that keepeth back his sword from the blood. Anybody that pretends to do my work and is not doing it faithfully, the Lord said, Listen, you are not even doing it for man, not me. I will deal with you myself. Did you see that? This is it's heavy to say, but that's the truth. Cursed be any that, that doeth the work of God, and cursed be any that want to try to destroy you. Because your blood shall be on their head. They shall, they shall eat their own flesh and destroy themselves. So you see that case, that is we need to be faithful in all we do. Well, faithfulness is not for somebody else, it's for you. So if you don't want to be faithful, you don't want to be obedient, you neglect spiritual obligation. You, they say tight, you begin to say tight. What are they? Every time tight is the pastor that will eat it. You are neglecting spiritual obligation. It's your obligation to tithe one tenth every every time you have a pay, every time you have your salary, one tenth. So if you don't, that is the word that God is saying. And he said, in Malachi, he said, you are a thief. You heard that? It's in Malachi. I don't want to go there because we don't have much time. But people think they can gather without following the obligation. You can gather, but if you don't follow the obligation, it can live at any time. He said, ye are cursed with a curse, for ye have robbed me. Even this whole nation. Did you see that? So anytime you don't walk according to the word of God, you are neglecting the obligation and there's a reward for that. God wants us to be faithful. So there's a curse of unfaithfulness. If you are not faithful to, in your marriage, there's a curse. You are not faithful as a single, there's a curse. So we just have to be faithful in all we do. You are going to rise up. Say in the name of Jesus. Any satanic power that does not want me to walk faithfully with God, I disconnect you now in the name of Jesus. Any power that will not want me to walk faithfully, that will not want me to keep the obligation of God, I cast you out. I cast you out by fire, by thunder. By fire, by thunder. I destroy you in the name of Jesus. I destroy you in the name of Jesus. Any spirit of disobedience, I cast you out. I'm a child of God. I am obedient in the name of Jesus. My father, 
Give me the spirit of obedience to walk with you, to talk with you, to stay with you in the name of Jesus, to walk righteously with you daily in the name of Jesus. Say, my father, my father, whatsoever I do, let your name be glorified. Let your name be glorified. Finally, before we go into some prayer, what opens door for curses? What opens door for curses? Number one, blood guiltiness. Maybe you are guilty of blood or your fathers are guilty of blood. They killed people. They did something. That's where some of us are. Because in those days during war or before the war, when they were hungry, they killed people, they eat people. And at times, because of their wickedness, they would draw like nobody passes here. And somebody's passing, they get the person, they kill them. That's blood guiltiness. And other ways, abortion and all. Two, ignorance of your covenant. Ignorance of your covenant position and failure to serve the covenant. You are a covenant child. You are supposed to be like a covenant child. Serve the covenant God. Number three, disobedience to God. And willfully, willfully disobeying the law of God. That can open door. Disobedience to God. And we fully disobeying the law of God can open the door. Unguided utterance or voice pronouncement or vow. At times we, we make vow, we don't complete our vow. It can open door for curses. When you make a vow, complete it. Or you, you speak evil or somebody speak evil. If your mouth does not glorify God, it will attract curses. If all you did say is curse word, F word, all those negative words, yes, you are opening door for attack. You are opening up for curses. Identification with cursed people. That is, you go around people that are cursed. Mm -hmm. Evil association. Bad association. Identification with cursed people or group, such as coming a, a, a member of evil society, evil cult, you are in a cult, you are in satanic something. You see that that is an open door of curses. Okay. Inheritance and transfer of course material. Maybe somebody has a cost material, you take it, you use it. Or somebody give you a cost material, it will open door for curses. Fear. If you are always afraid, there's a door open for curses. Association, associating yourself with cursed people, as we said. So, but we know that God is God. Do I have somebody here? Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, my blessings are now. Put, put Deuteronomy 33 verse 1. Deuteronomy 33. Say my blessings are now. In the name of Jesus. Anybody. Waiting for my life. To be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Destroy yourself now. Destroy yourself now. Whosoever is waiting for my life. Uh, to be destroyed. Uh, waiting for my life. Uh, not to move forward. Uh, waiting for my life. Uh, not to advance. Uh, I command you. Be destroyed by fire. Be condemned by fire. In the name of Jesus. My father. My father. My father. Search my foundation. My father. My father. Search my foundation. Every curse. Place on my foundation. I break it today. By fire, by thunder. By fire, by thunder. I break that curse. My father, whosoever caused my foundation, let it backfire on them. On their head. Let them carry their load. And leave me alone. In the name of Jesus. And this is the blessings wherewith Moses and the man, Moses the man of God blessed the children of Israel before his death. So God is saying thing. And that blessing is now. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. The blessing you release from me. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 28. I receive it right now by fire. In the name of Jesus. I receive that blessing. Begin to receive it. In the name of Jesus. I take back my blessing. I take back my blessing. In the name of Jesus. No evil shall befall me. Neither shall any plague come to my dwelling. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Begin to name what you want to be blessed right now. Begin to name them. Begin to name them. Because this is your day. Your blessing must arise. Isaiah 65, 23. Isaiah 65, 23 tells us. Uh, 
that they shall not build for others. That is, a, you will not build for others today. Come on, come on now. They shall not labor in vain. You shall not labor in vain. Nor bring forth for trouble. For they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord and their offspring. That is your offspring. Your children, children are blessed. Say, my father, my father. According to your word, I shall not labor in vain. I refuse to labor in vain. The curse is broken. Oh, the curse is broken. I refuse to labor in vain. In the name of Jesus. I refuse to labor in vain. In the name of Jesus. My father, my father, remove every curse of hard labor. Remove it from me. Every curse of hard labor. I break it by fire. Come on, come on. Every curse of hard labor. Everything you walk out. That is a curse. And you don't receive it. Every curse of hard labor. I break it out of my life. Somebody break that curse of hard labor. Everything you do, you must sweat. And yet you don't see the money. Every curse of hard labor. I break it out of my life. I destroy out of my life. In the name of Jesus. Rabakata. Oh yes. I break every curse of hard labor. Of hard labor. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say in Jesus name. I send back every curse from my father's house. Backfire. Every curse from my mother's house. Backfire. Every curse from my village. Every curse from my village, tormenting my life, backfire, 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 come on, come on, come on it, every curse of your village, any curse from your village, tormenting your life, any curse, come on now, everywhere, Rabaka, that village, the people don't do well, they follow you, every curse from my village, tormenting my life, backfire to sender, every curse from my village, following me, everywhere I go, I return you, backfire to sender, somebody send back the curse, the the curse from your village, uh, tormenting your life. Uh, come on, come on, send it back. Uh, the curse, uh, back, uh, uh, I send it back. Uh, every curse uh, from my father's house, uh, my mother's house, uh, my in-laws house, uh, I send it back. Come on, uh, who cursed you? Your ex-laws, uh, now they are following you. Uh, every curse uh, from my ex-law, uh, uh, I send you back by fire. Oh, come on, come on, uh, return the curse. Uh, return the curse. Uh, return the curse. Uh, Every curse uh, from my father's house uh, following my life. Uh, people are dying prematurely. People die prematurely. People struggle, struggle. Uh, nothing is working. Uh, they start something. Uh, it's not working. Uh, no matter how educated, uh, no matter how educated uh, they are, the curse is still there. Somebody open your mouth. Uh, every curse uh, from my father's house uh, following me. Everywhere I go, uh, I break you by fire. Every curse uh, from my mother's house uh, following me everywhere I go I break 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 by fire break by thunder come on come on break the curse come on enough is enough enough is enough they must let you go they must let you go they must let you go no matter what you do you end up being cursed you end up being ashamed oh JJ Bosha somebody open your mouth that curse that followed you from your village must cut off must die by fire the because I followed you from your village uh, must crush, uh, must be crushed. Uh, because I followed you from your father's house, uh, from your mother's house, uh, must backfire. Uh, because I followed you, come on, come on. Uh, that curse, uh, childhood curse, uh, childhood curses, uh, curse from the womb. Uh, who cursed you uh, from your mother's womb? Uh, backfire to send uh, every curse uh, following my life. Uh, everywhere I go, uh, ba, 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 return it back. Uh, curse of loneliness, uh, curse of single life. Uh, because of single life, because uh, of marital difficulty, marital difficulty. Come on, come on. Uh, educational classes, uh, business classes, uh, job. Uh, nothing is working. Because uh, I said, uh, you cannot get your green card. Uh, send it back to send. Uh, somebody send it back. Uh, somebody send it back. Uh, the anointing is here. That's a power. That's a power. What curse uh, is what's here? Uh, the fire is on. Uh, I said, the fire is on. Uh, the fire is on. Uh, lift up your voice. Uh, Send back the curse. Send back the curse. Let it go back to 
Sada. Let it go back to Sada. Somebody send it back. Enough is enough. Do all you can. Nothing is working. Send back the curse. Send back the curse. Send back the curse. Send back the curse. The curse of death. The curse of death over your life. Send it back. The curse of death over your life. The curse of sickness. Sickness over your life. Who caused you with sickness? Send it back. Who caused you with sickness? Send it back. Who caused you with poverty? Poverty. Living from paycheck to paycheck is not enough. Somebody send it back. Come on, Canada. Or back. Paycheck to paycheck. Paycheck to paycheck. Send it back by fire. Send it back by fire. Send back the curse. Send back the curse. Back to sender. Back to sender. Who caused your life? That you struggle. Struggle and struggle. Send it back. Who caused your life? That your children will give you pain. Oh, come on. Send it back. Who caused you? Oh, barrenness. You now have children. Somebody break it. Break it and send it back. Oh, come on. Break, break, break. Break that curse of barrenness. Break that curse of barrenness. Break it by fire. Break it by fire. Come and break it. Break it, break it. Break it, break it. Financial difficulty. Financial difficulty. Break it by fire. Break it by fire. Rabaka seka. Oragadada. Ozabada. That is the fire. The fire is on. I said the fire is on. I said the fire is on. They must let you go. 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 Orabakata. Somebody's on. They must let you go. Release me by fire. Release me by fire. Release me by fire. Somebody cry out. Release me by fire. Holy Ghost. Arabakata. Come on, come on. You're getting your deliverance. Somebody's coming out. You're coming out right now. You're coming out right now. I say you're coming out right now. You're coming out right now. Something is happening. Something is happening in the house. Fire, fire, fire. 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 Holy Ghost fire. Holy Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, you're coming out, uh, that native doctor, that witch doctor, that cost your life, uh, that false prophet, uh, that cost your life, uh, that false prophet, uh, that witch doctor, the palm reader, the palm reader, that cost your life, uh, somebody cry out, uh, that native doctor, that procedure, costing your life, uh, somebody cry out, uh, fire, 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 oh, da, 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 da. Oh, da, da, da. the fire is on, uh, the fire is on, uh, somebody, uh, oh, da, da, da. Open your mouth. Begin to break. Break that curse. 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 Break it. Break it. Break it. Break it. Break. Break it. The name of Jesus. My God, something is happening. Some people have really broken something. Some people really broke it. Jesus, thank you. Jesus, thank you. That cause was really tying you. Place your hand on your head. Your right hand. That curse was really tying you. But after today, enough is enough. Enough. You shall not labor in vain. Ah. You shall not labor in vain. Nor bring forth in trouble. For you are a child. You are a seed of the Lord. A seed of the blessed. Now the fire is moving. Father, touch every head. Father, touch every head and break every curse today. Today, oh God, today your children don't even know. They don't know what they carry. They don't know what they are struggling with. They don't know why they are struggling. They don't know why everything is negative. Father, but today, my father, my father, it must change. Today, I release the power. I release the anointing. I release the fire. Holy Spirit. That's it. That's it. It's moving. You can feel it. It's moving. It's moving. Oh, you can feel it. You can feel it right there. You can feel the fire right there. You can feel it. Oh, my God. Something is happening here. Something is happening. The power is moving. The anointing is moving. Receive it. Who cost your father and you carry the cost? Who cost your mother and the cost followed you? Who cost your foundation and it followed you? Who cost your village and it followed you? Who cost your compound? Who took your name to the altar? Who makuri gada? Who took your name to the altar? And now you are struggling. What you are supposed to receive. They are just tying it because it's a curse. Who took your name to the shrine? 
Marubada, at times you don't feel. You know something is wrong. You know something is wrong, but you don't know what is wrong. To them, they must release you. They must release you from that shrine. From that water, that water, that water, that water. That demonic power sweeping because of you. That satanic strong man. <laughs> that come to visit you at times. The power is on. That wicked power from your father's house. That come to visit you at times. The anointing is here. Somebody's foundation is being at. Oh my God, the blood of Jesus is shaking your foundation. Your foundation is being shaken. It's been shaken. It's been shaken. It's been shaken. My God, my God, something is happening here. Something is happening here. My father, my father. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Watch them, watch them. The power has come. There's a move. There's a move of the Holy Ghost. You must be released today. It does not matter who cost. It does not matter where your quest came from. Oh my God, the power is moving. The anointing is moving. Spirit of the living God. Ooh. I heard when you were between six and seven years old, your mother used to take you to one type of voodoo house, witch doctor. And that witch doctor had all your information. And now they are, they are operating according to what they know about you. The fire is going to hit you because tonight is your night. That fire is going to hit you now. <laughs> Wherever that curse came from, that person is not permitted to hold your document. It's not permitted to keep your identity. Zikota. Jesus, Jesus. Oh, I feel the wind is blowing. They are not permitted to keep your identity. Mariko Sata. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's the power. That's the power right there. That is the power, Shakapo. Ah, yes, sir. Every evil hand uh, keeping your identity in order to punish you, in order to attack you. Right is the fire. I release the fire of the living God. The fire of the living God. The fire of the living God. Oof. Oh, yes. You can feel it all over your body. It's moving. Today is moving. They cannot, they cannot stop you. Take it. And they are placing death upon you. You've been dreaming bad dreams. Bad dream. You can feel there's a release. Fire is coming. Fire is meeting fire right now. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. They must let you go. They must let you go by fire. They must let you go today. In the name of Jesus. You are not guilty. But anything they've done with your name. Anything they've done with your destiny. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ushers, watch. They must let you go. I said they must let you go. By fire, by thunder. They must let you go. In the name of Jesus. Bring them forward. Bring them forward for one minute. In the name of Jesus. Because that curse must be broken. Today is your day. I stand and I break that curse. I say I stand. I break that curse. I break it. Whatsoever they are using against you. Any word that sold you out. Any of your material <laughs> that sold you out. Whatever was handed over to them. And now they are using it against you. Fire. Fire. <laughs> Fire. Holy Ghost fire. That's it. That's it. That's the fire. That is the fire. I said that's the fire. That's the fire right there. That is the fire. Somebody, somebody, somebody. The fire is all today. They must liberate you. You must come up. Yes, that, that, that's the fire. That's the fire. That's the fire. I said that's the fire. That is the fire. They must let you go. Holy Ghost fire. Hey, hey. Ah. They must let you go. Ah. Whatever is yours in the hand of Evil powers in the darkness. Oh, yes, in that kingdom. The Debakura. I commanded to let you go. That's the fire. I said, that's the fire. That is the fire. Let them go. Let them go. Let them go. Fire, 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 fire. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That cost must be broken. You suffered for too long. I said, you suffered for too long. Fire for fire. Holy Ghost, let them go. Arabakata. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Burn. It's all over this place. That curse today. The curse must be cursed. The curse must be cursed. Who cursed your life? That strong man that come to activate curse. Whenever I see blessing coming, he will come and have sex with you. 
every time blessing is coming, this, this strong man will come and have sex with you. Whether you are he, whether you are she, doesn't matter. He changes position anyhow. Changes personality because it's a spirit. Today, I release the fire right now. That spirit must let you go. I say that spirit, your enlargement must arise. Your enlargement must arise. Your purpose must arise. Your success must arise. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Father, I release it right now. I said, let them go. Father, break that curse. Break that curse. That big snake that used to come to your compound. Now that snake is what is being used. Oh yes, sir. It flies. It crawls. It comes to your house anytime in order to activate curses. Today, I break it. Whosoever is using it. Whosoever carries the tail of a snake that is assigned to you. Today, whosoever swimming in the water. La, ba, 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 ba. Oh yes, that's the fire. That's the fire. The fire is on now. Let them go. Let them go. Let them go. Oh yes, sir. that snake must let you go. That serpent must let you go. That demon must let you go. That wish must let you go. I said it must let you go. In the name of Jesus, sir. receive the fire. Receive the anointing. They must let you go. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Burn. Whatever in your foundation that Satan is using for granted to curse you, Whatever they are using to curse you. Because of how bad your parents were. How bad your father was. And they are using that thing to curse you innocent soul. Using it to curse innocent soul. You are doing your best to live right. But because of what somebody did. They are using it to attack your business. They use it to attack your job. They use it to attack all everything you do with your hand. They use it to attack your fruitfulness. Today, I release the fire. I release the fire. That's it. Jesus. Jesus. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Whatever their parents did, the wickedness they did, they didn't serve God. They served mammon. They served all kind of images. They serve all kinds of altars. And now it's affecting this one's business. Affecting their job. Affecting their marriages. Affecting their career. Affecting them in all. Even affecting their grandchildren. Today I release a power. As I release a fire. Holy Ghost. Ooh. That strong man must let you go. He must let you go. He must let you go. Bring them out. Bring them out right here. In the name of Jesus, just bring them out. Father, as they come out, break that curse. Today we break it finally. Break that curse finally. Yes, you are innocent. You don't know about it. But whatever they did, it was backfire. It was backfire. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Every one of you put your hand on your head. Father, I release your fire to burn. Now, every one of you lift up. Oh my God, I feel it. Curses are flying out. They are just busting out of the ceiling. Curses are, they are flying out. I said they are flying out. Something is happening here. Who cursed your father? Oh, Rabagada. Jesus. 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 Who cursed? What altar did they use? I, I call fire on that altar. I call down fire on that altar. Innocent girl suffering because of the curse of the father. Innocent children suffering today by father. Oh God. Father, listen to the cry of your children. Listen to the cry of your children, oh God. Whatever curse is working against these ones. Father, break that curse. My father, break the curse. My father, break the curse. I break it. And whatever is activating the curses in your life, that strong man that comes, the strong man comes to have sex. The come, strong man comes and disturb you on your bed. At times comes and come and bring some type of turbulence in your house. Begin to come like a shadow. Today I kill that power. I kill that power. As I kill that power, I destroy that power. I break that curse. I break that curse. I break that curse. In the name of Jesus, I break it. That altar is so high, it's so strong. The altar fighting you still alive is a strong altar. Hey. And somebody serving that altar. Today, I command whoever is serving that altar, 
whosoever within seven days, I command the fire of God to arrest them now. In the name of Jesus, I command the fire of God, arrest, break. Father, arrest them, burn them to ashes. I command that altar to burn forever. That altar servicing your case. That altar activating your case. That altar bringing more trouble. That altar hardening problem. The altar that is threatening problem. The altar that is making problems stubborn for you. To defy ya. Altar re causing rejection and bad luck. Loose. <sighs> break. 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 I break it. I break it. I break it. I break it. I break that altar. <sighs> Your own is failure to serve. They failed to go and be consistent in the altar. That's what happened. They started it, they could not complete it. I break it from you, bring her up. I break Amen. what your mama did. Break with your name as a senior girl. Lay it on the foundation of the senior girl. I break it. I break right now. Break that person has confessed. They need to confess and die. Amen. The one they confess is not enough. They've not finished the confession. Amen. I break that thing out of you. Amen. I say I break it out. Amen. I break that curse out. Break. Break in the name of Jesus. I break it off you. I break it innocent you. I break it. I break it. I break it. Whoever is going to that altar to service trouble in your life as young as you are. Break. Break. Come on. Break. 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 Break that wicked woman. Break. I break it. I break it today. Break. Your own dark Muslim. They put goats. They put lamb. All kinds of things. I break it today. I break it today. And I set you free. I break it. In the name of Jesus. You know who is raising that altar. Break. 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 Break from your head. Break from your head in the name of Jesus. Father, I break all these ones. That after today, your lives, your lives, your lives bring her up. Every one of you, come on. Get up, get up, get up. Father, I soak this head. That altar, if not for God. If you are not in this church, I don't know where you would have been. If not, that you, were, you came to this church. I don't know whether you would have been alive today. Because right from when you were born, it was strong. Right from when you were born, that was the heart of your mother. Break! I break it. Put up your hands and say, I break. Say, in this altar, in this greater altar, in this greatest altar of God, I break every curse. I break every curse. I break every evil pronouncement, every evil pronouncement against my life, against my destiny. I break it today. Oh God, let my problem come to an end. My Father, release your fire. You release your fire to protect me, to guide me, to lead me, to speak for me. From today, I overtake any altar, any shrine, any evil personality speaking against my enlargement in the name of Jesus. I am moving forward. I must move forward. I dedicate my life to Jesus in the name of Jesus. Now I come like Elijah before, before Jericho. Elisha. I come as Elisha before Jericho. Give me a new cruise. I take that new cruise and salt. And I'm going to the spring of your problems right now. I sprinkle that I sprinkle that salt. Father, I sprinkle the salt. Ah, that's the anointing. It's touching all of them. I sprinkle that salt in the root of your problems. I release that salt. The covenant salt. Power. Oh, yes. From today. And yes, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's the fire is burning her feet. Is on her feet right now. Is burning her feet. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Sir. I release that salt. 
There shall be no more bitterness. There shall be no more curses. There shall be no more affliction from today. No more bitter water. No more bitterness. No more rejection. No more stagnancy. No more bad luck over your life. I set you free today. Oh, come on, come on. Fire, makura, da, da, da. I go to the spring of the water. Let them go and be free. Be free. Be free. From today, your destinies have changed. Your destinies. Every one of you, your destinies have changed. Every bitter water in your life. Every bitterness. Every curse in your life. I mount up wings like eagle today. I sprinkle the salt, all, the divine salt. I sprinkle divine salt into the source of your problem. Into the source of your problem. I release that divine salt. And I say from today, let there be honey life. Let there be no bitterness in your life. Let there be no barrenness in your life. Let there be no failure in your life. Let there be no failure in your life. Let there be no going around in circle. Let there be no backward journey. Let there be no backward journey. No more premature death. No more premature death. I set every one of you free. I set every one of you free. Fruitfulness is your portion. Fruitfulness is your portion. Fruitfulness is your portion. Success is your portion. Success is your portion. Abundance is your portion. Overflow is your portion. Favor, 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 favor. Favor in everything you do. Everywhere you go, people will accept you. I release that anointing today. Wherever you go, people will accept you. Whatever you touch, the doors are open. Wherever you step on, doors are open. You begin to receive. From today, I release you. It is freedom time. It's increase time. Go and increase. Go and enlarge your coast. Go and be the head. Go and receive more ideas. Ideas to succeed. Ideas for favor. Ideas for enlargement. You are blessed. You are covered. From today, arise and shine. For the glory of God is risen upon you. It is down. Every one of you, get up. Get up, get up, get up. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We thank you in the name of Jesus. Put up your hand and say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus, for breaking the curses. Come on, come on. Thank you, Jesus, for setting me free. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, every one of you. Lift up your hands and say thank you. Lift up your hands and say thank you. In the name of Jesus, for setting me free. Father, I bless your name for setting me free. For setting me free. For giving me a new page. For giving me a new page. Father, I thank you. That is, you have done it again. In Jesus' name. Say, thank you, Jesus. Awesome God. Mighty God. Oh, we give you praise. Hey, awesome God. Oh, we give you praise. Yes, mighty God. You are highly lifted up, awesome God. You are highly lifted up, mighty God. Father, we thank you for taking over this service. That your children are living here with peace, joy, happiness, freedom. Freedom in the spirit. Freedom physically. Freedom in all that they do. Let them be announced. Let them be the best wherever they go. It is done in Jesus' name.